Hey, spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as India. Now, where we left off, uh, we were kind of screwing around a little bit. Uh, I, I, I discovered what was happening. So apparently, apparently, I must have fat fingered the quick, the the quick save key, and my my recording key is the exact same as the uh, quick load key. So what was happening, every time I would start and stop a recording, I would like load the game from like 50 to 100 turns ago. And it was really, really obnoxious, but I figured that out. I don't know if you guys probably didn't even see it. I think you only saw that once throughout this series. But yeah, we're playing as India. We're playing with the Religion Expanded mod and we are going along nicely. We've got a huge gold income, we've got a huge faith income, and we're working on bringing up our science income now. You can see we've got a lot of campus districts underway. No, I mean, a, a small criticism could definitely have been that, you know, these campuses are very late. But the way the game is kind of gone, they don't really feel that late to me because I have not been really pressed to make them, to be honest. Because I've had so much science coming in from just um, my population that really I'm only like 20 science per turn behind John Curtin. And I don't even have universities built in most of my cities that can build campuses. I don't even have campuses built. I have campuses in one city. I have one campus and a library. That's like all my science, oh, it's all of my dedicated science generation. It's just my empire is so huge. The sheer amount of yields that we can generate is out of this world. Now, after campuses, I'm going to need commercial hubs. That's definitely a thing that needs to happen. Um, the commercial hubs are going to provide me with the trade routes that I'm going to be able to slap into my capital, where I'm probably going to be building the majority of my space parts. Okay, temple constructed. You will be big enough for a new district here in six turns. So let's go ahead and get the Minervium. That'll give me some extra faith and science. Now, I could be purchasing some of these great people. And I'm not entirely against this as a proposition. But I'm holding on to this science for now because I'm looking for... Oh, here we go. This is one I would love. This guy. If I could get this guy, uh, Albert Einstein, triggers the Eureka, and University Supply provide plus four science. Yes, give me that guy. Diplomatic service is about to be popped here, so I'm going to have to start spying on someone who is ahead of me technologically, and I believe Australia is, so yes, I'm going to be stealing tech from Australia for basically the rest of the entire game, and hopefully that's going to help me catch up a little bit in terms of science that I'm behind. I'm pretty confident that it will allow me to catch up, if not surpass him at some point. Um, so, you know, that's what we're working on. So let's go ahead and swap over to spies. Still going with these sort of things. Nothing here really ready to change yet, because I don't... The Holy Side Adjacency bonuses is fine. That will be changing. But for now, it's totally fine, because it's, it's netting me some gold here and there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the mine there. And you would love your own trade route, really, to be able to feed yourself. So I might build a harbor in here or something. We'll figure it out. Maybe a harbor there, commercial hub there. We'll do it. We'll figure it out. Choose production. Okay, we got the campus. Uh, let's faith purchase. Oh yeah, right. I can faith purchase barracks and stuff. I can also faith purchase Minerviums. I don't know why I'm hard building them. You've got four turns until you can do something useful. Uh, go ahead and get me a spy. Well, could I get that in my capital? How long would it take me in the capital? It would take me half the time in the capital. It would mean an extra spy action throughout the whole game. So I'll, I'll, I'll just get it there. I'll leave it the way it is. Now, I was going to actually go for the Colosseum, by, but I stupidly forgot. <laughs> Whoops. My bad, dudes. Let's go ahead and get the library. Let's uh, just regular purchase a university here so that I can get an extra few points towards this great scientist to make it easier to faith purchase. Uh, that's kind of like the goal right now. Uh, let's get the step well. There we go. Nice yields here. Lots of housing things happening. Uh, I'm thinking squeeze over there, you go to the next turn. The step well is really amazing actually in terms of a... I, I, I guess I kind of underestimated it, but it's way better than I ever thought. Never really played a full full game through as India. I used to, I, I tr I've tried a few times to play as India, but I would always get like only maybe 80 to 100 turns into a game and then get frustrated with the position I was in. Um, but this one seems to be going really, really well. I'm quite happy with this. 
We've got a wave of science pushing through us now. Oh, right, I have a builder. Uh, yep, yeah, lumber mills. The yields on my tiles. I love the religion expanded mod. It makes your it makes your empire look so so great. I'm not going to give you that for eight gold. I'm afraid he offered me seven gold. He lowballs me seven gold, and I said no. And then he offers me eight gold. Thinking, oh yeah, the the problem was I didn't offer enough gold, so I'll add one. That is like some you know, World of Warcraft auction house level. De wheeling and dealing, you know, where you put the, you put your price of your thing like one copper below someone else's. <laughs> Good God, uh, mm, a lighthouse. Library. Harbor. And here. Okay. Uh, can't put a step well here? No, so go put that lumber mill up. Choose production. Lighthouse. So, I kind of said I wouldn't send anyone out here, but I did it anyway. I like to live dangerously. Australian ironclad. That's not okay. That should not be in my vicinity. Alright, university time. I could purchase that. I will. Get that university out nice and quick, and then I can use this to maybe uh, push for, like, builders. Knowledge of printing. Go ahead and build your shrine and stuff. Library. Okay, now that we're starting to finish up some of these, I'm gonna go send this to, uh, to Stockholm. That'll provide me with even more great people points towards this great scientist. And this one I definitely want, because it basically doubles the impact of universities, which would be really super useful in helping me catch up. Because right now, if we look at science, I'm actually on par with how much science he's earning per turn with these top guys. There's only one person who I don't know of who's doing better than me. But at the very least, I should be catching up um, at a decent pace. Which is exciting. Uh, unit needs orders. Let's go ahead and stick fishing boats here. Nice one. Go there. We'll go to the next turn. So much gold. Feels good, man. I don't even have commercial hubs and I have a bajillion gold. It's amazing. Uh, here's humanism. Great artist points and great engineer points. Not really concerned, to be honest. Not terribly concerned. Does not bother me. Would actually like to get an alliance with Hojo just for his map knowledge. Oh, there's Mavemba. He's probably top science. So I think I'm going to go for an alliance with Hojo. Just so I can see what he can see. So let me send him... Uh, Okay, I'll send you a resident embassy. Okay. I'll talk to Hojo Jojo. Establish a resident embassy. Declare friendship. Okay, make a deal. We won't do an alliance. I think I need to have a friendship before that. I need to be trading with him. Where's his city? Okay, let's see if we can get a trader over here. To trade with Hojo Jojo. Okay, here's Majorai. And Kappas. Kappas, 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 Kappas. Oh, I don't want to kill some of these. Ooh, I don't want to kill here. Here's fine, actually. I don't mind killing that. I'll kill that. It's a good tile, but I don't mind killing it. Uh, let's Faith purchase the Minervium. This is getting cheaper because we're getting great people points towards it, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, Lighthouse would be amazing. As would a Kappas, so I'm going to go for the Kappas. Let's see, Industrial Zone completed. It's time for you to place down a commerce hub. Where though? God damn. Oh, I don't want to kill this. I'd have to move the step well. Could also go for an encampment. Might be worth. Might be worth. Uh, let's. Entertainment complex would be really good too. I'm going to need some of those. Right here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. 
Yeah, this would hit this would hit four cities with its regency regional buildings. So I'm gonna get it there. I'm gonna get the workshop first though, because I do want to get some engineer points eventually. Alrighty, builder completed over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that mine. Ooh, step well. There's a really good step well over there, actually. You're just going to keep building builders for my empire. I appreciate you for doing that. It means a lot to me, Baghdad. Uh, unit needs orders. Repair that. Now the city has like some good, good, good tiles. Oh, hey, we could actually use uh, improvements over there. Coffee, gypsum, open borders. Well, if I'm giving you open borders, you should also give me open borders. Make this an equitable deal. Sounds good to me, Germany. Goodbye. Producing a builder. Uh, the reprehensible words and actions, you can only lead your people down a path of ignorance and destruction. He threw his hat at me. I feel like that's a bit of an overreaction, but I mean... It is his hat, after all. If he wants to throw it at me, he may throw his hat. Alright, here is Kappa's finishing. I think I had made the choice to put a commercial hub here. Long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. And I can still remember. Uh, let's go ahead and get a library. Yo, let's do... What are we going to do next? Um, university? Let's keep an eye on this bad boy. Albert Einstein. We're getting 12 point whatever per turn, so we need to get up here. Why'd you get me a... Right lighthouse? Right house. You get me the university. Reasonable pacing here. And why don't you get me the Krampus? I want to trade with Japan. There it is. Nagoya. Now he should be my friend. Aha, yes, excellent. Now, make a deal. Alliance. You will pay me. Many things. Pigs. Make your pigs a part of the payment. No. Pay me many things. Deal. Okay, so this, most importantly, this is going to reveal, like, all of the things. Japan, you haven't explored at all! What is wrong with you? God damn it! Germany, take my embassy. You dirty red-headed boy. <laughs> Sounds so wrong. No, don't be my friend. God damn it, Germany! Be my friend! Alright, next turn. You're an evil upon this world. Mm-hmm. You can denounce me all you want. I don't care. Dude, Movember hates me in every game I play with him. Every game I play with Movember, he's like, I hate you, dude. I think the last... Didn't we go to war with him last game? No? Maybe? Holy crap, Australia. Do you have enough units? Choose production. Uh, we got Builder popping out. Oxford University, plus 20% science and civil war, two before three six months will complete. Must build on grass and plains adjacent with capacity with this. Ooh, I could do this. It's an option. Plus 20% science is really not a lot, but it is like an amount of science. Two randomly chosen free technologies. Two free techs is pretty good. Two great works of writing slot. Less inclined about... This is so expensive. Oh my god. Let's do it. Let's give it, give it the old college try. We'll get it. We'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Okay. Universities. I want to be getting those up as soon as possible. Um, well, I mean, if I'm doing this, I could harvest a stone. Stone really wouldn't make a huge difference. It'd shave like... Five, ten, maybe... Five, ten turns off with, with each stone at most. So, eh, it'll be fine. If we lose it, we lose it. Don't care. Don't really care if we lose it. I still don't like how district prices increase the more technologies you have. I understand the uh, concept behind the design, but I don't like it. It doesn't feel good to me to play with that restriction. 
I feel like there are more elegant ways to do that problem solving. I don't know, that thought just occurred to me. Um, okay, we got the workshop, we got the thingy. Go ahead, go ahead. Get me a monument so your borders grow a little bit quicker. And we'll go to the next turn. I'm so annoyed that Japan has not explored the world at all. <laughs> Usually Japan gets like a few caravels and just like beelines and explorers everywhere, but nope. Not this game. This game, Japan decided against doing the thing that it normally does. May as well repair those outer defenses for what it's worth. Oh god, I just punched my microphone trying to scratch my sh 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 bleh, trying to scratch my shoulder. Sorry, dudes. That's gonna sound awful. I will try to remember to delete that from the audio. I do my best. Shrine, temple. Spy. Yes, okay, spy. Send this over to Jan Curtain. Uh how does he have so much science with so few commercial hub or campuses rather? Okay. Um Campus. How's my science doing relative to everyone else? So I'm a little bit behind in terms of total earned, but I'm I'm skyrocketing ahead very, very rapidly, and I'm set to maybe get Albert Einstein. So this is less concerning to me than it would be normally. Let's have a look. Go there. Camp online. Choose production here, repair out of defenses. Uh, aqueduct, hmm. Okay, so somebody just finished the Oxford University. That saves me having to do that. Kind of a relief a little bit. Okay, really we just need to grow in here. Can I set you to food focus? What if I like reset all these tiles? 12 turns. Versus 20 turns. What else do we lose? We lose a bit of production and a bit of faith. I mean, there's no harm in just having extra builders all the time. Just means our lands are highly developed. Didn't this city need, ha need housing? Am I crazy? I could have spawned the city needed housing. I can put a thingy over here. Step well. Next turn. No, sorry. Next unit. Go here. Next turn. This time. No. Oh, God damn it. More units appearing. Just let me. Let me leave. Okay. Definitely want to work the step well. It's like a huge part of our gold right now. Iron for... Oh, you want to buy my iron? Yeah, sure. Give me that. Give me those spices. Take my iron. I don't care about my iron. Why would I care about my iron? What's wrong with you, November? He's crazy. He's crazy in the coconut. Alright, uh, building the world wonder pyramids. Yeah, the Great Library. Mausoleum Mahalakarnassus. Those were all happened a long, long time ago, yet the alert was still there, even though I reloaded the game multiple times throughout this playthrough. Go get the step well. Next turn. I think ugh, there's something about wonders in Civ 6 on Deity that it just it doesn't even seem like worth my while to even try because I don't need them. They don't do anything. It feels like they don't do anything to like help me win. Okay, we can now finally slot in rationalism. From the sanitation, the med whatever is contrary to nature is contrary to reason. So let's get rid of the holy side adjacency bonuses and put in the uh, liberalism would be pretty good too. But really, what I'm looking for here is rationalism. Rationalism is a very nice one. Nice boost to science. Now that won't be so good right now, but as we finish uh, some of these universities and libraries and stuff like that, that'll become very, very nice indeed. So next step is I'm thinking um, I would love to get conservation so that I could plant forests because plant forests are really good. It is kind of out of the way tech tree wise. 
um, for a science victory. Now, in terms of a science victory, I actually doesn't really matter what I get here. The only thing I care about is getting to suffrage relatively quick. So if I just click suffrage, I would like to get to civil engineering pretty quick. I would like to get to urbanization pretty quick right after that, and then suffrage. We can readjust as we go, but for now that seems like a reasonable pathway. Also, we can purchase units with faith, which is quite good. We can't purchase builders, only military units, so sadly. There is a pantheon, there is, a, is it a pantheon or is it a follower belief? There's a, there's a belief in the Religion Expanded mod that allows you to actually purchase um, thingy-me-doodles. People who make things with the builder charges. Builders, that's the one. Monument completed, get a builder. Unit needs orders. Go there. Go there. Next turn. Alexander of Macedon, the king of the pharaoh, the undefeated general of Greece. Surely you've heard of me. It is an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. Hospitality? God damn it, I always say utility. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Why do I say it wrong? We're about to get chemistry too, which is going to be a big moment in our empire. Especially because we're getting doubled. Doubled yields here for my buildings. The science is skyrocketing now. We shall be, uh, we shall not be moved. We shall be moving very quickly, however. So, campus has been built here. I've got seven turns. May as well put those turns into a commercial hub for the extra trade route. And over here, I think it's time to start trading internally. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I'll trade with Mumbai. Need the food in here to grow this Delhi city. Bang. I just, you know, I kind of had a weird game where I skipped trade routes. I don't know. They don't have to, I don't know what the, they don't have to tell you how this happened, but it, this is what happened. Research labs are going to be a pain in the ass to make because they're going to take so many turns to build. All right, let's go ahead and get the entertainment complex smashed away there. Uh, step well here. Probably see if we can fit another step well there. Although I want to put a step well there, so kind of makes this a little bit awkward, but we'll figure it out. Step well here. All right, so gain sources first, and we'll go to the next turn. I can only assume your reluctance to spread your religion comes from a lack of conviction. Why would I spread my religion to you? My religion will spread itself to you, okay? Amazingly, it looks like there's a huge battle of religion going on over here. Not that I really care. At this point, my, I've gotten what I need out of my religion, so I don't care if I lose it. It was just a thing that I did. I wanted to try out the religion expanded mod. I mean, I could have gone for, you know, I could have gone for a religion game. I just don't really enjoy them that much. And plus, everybody's going for, like, Inquisitors and Gurus and... Ugh. No thanks. No thanks. Hi, Darabad. And more thingies. God damn. 54 turns for a campus? You only have 5 production? What is going on in this city? Who's in charge here? Um... You are, Potato. Oh. Why am I? Why am I in charge? Someone, someone else should be in charge. Can we even do a production focus? There is literally no production tiles in the city. Are you actually working with? God damn it! Can't do it. Give me this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You just need, you just need tiles. That's your problem. How many tiles? Just get a market. Just generate gold for me. Well, get the harbor first. Step well. Right there. Mm -mm -mm. It's a good step well right there. Lumber mill. Exciting. There's something really satisfying about like just like placing um, improvements in districts everywhere. It's like it's like you're it's like you're playing one of those like settle not like settlers of Catan. What's that other game? Where you like build little colonies and there's like worker placements and stuff like that. Is it Tropico? No, not Tropico. It's not Carcassonne. It's a worker placement game where you're like, you're running a colony if you try and like trade goods back and forth between the new world. It's a board game. I can't remember what it's called. 
But I definitely get that kind of a vibe when I'm playing Civ 6. Anyway, look, I want to call that an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.